This is the story of the Great Alaskan Gold Rush and how the White Pass and Yukon Railway was born. Before we head on this historic journey across Alaska with amazing views, mountains and deep valleys, let's roll the intro. The year was 1896. George Carmack, Skookum Jim, and Dawson Charlie struck gold. But just enough gold for the Seattle newspapers to catch wind of the discovery and spread headlines across the nation, sparking the Alaskan Gold Rush. Let's travel back in time and embark on this epic journey that a hundred thousand men endured over a century ago on foot. The two primary routes for the riches were the Chilkoot Trail, shorter but daunting compared to the White Pass Trail, which had its own fair share of perils. The steel cantilever bridge we see on our left was built in 1901 and was the tallest at the time. The bridge was operational till 1969. The train, through its winding 67-mile course, climbs to an elevation of 2,865 feet. Back in the day, men had to summit this with literally 2,000 pounds of supplies. The Canadian government took measures to ensure their survival. Therefore, in order to be granted passage, they needed an entire year's worth of supplies with them. Gear such as 150 pounds of bacon, 400 pounds of flour, 
15 pounds of salt, and many, many, many more supplies, all totaled to 2,000 pounds. Our conductor gave us insights as to how thousands of men tried to accomplish this. They had to make over 30 trips back and forth in order to haul all of the supplies, making their entire journey approximately 2,500 miles till the end of the trail. Of the 100,000 men that originally set forth on this journey, only 30,000 made it to Bennett, British Columbia. And what laid ahead was 500 miles of frozen Yukon River, just standing between these men and the gold fields. Through the course of the winter, they hand-built rafts, and finally, as the winters mellowed on May of 1898, over 7,000 of these rafts sent sail. The hazardous rapids along the Miles Canyon led to the demise of thousands of these hand-built rafts, and several hundred people died on this last leg of the journey. The idea of the White Pass and Yukon train was sparked from the vast dangers and time it took for the men to complete their journey. The construction was completed in 1901 and has stood the test of time granting us the luxury to be in this moment and ride the very train. All in all, of the 100,000 men that began the journey, only a few thousand reached the final destination of Dawson City, no more than 4,000 found gold, but only a few hundred actually struck it rich. As we walk back to our ship, we look forward to more adventures that await. Please like and subscribe. Tomorrow we will set sail whale watching in Juneau in hopes to catch sight of the most majestic mammals on earth. We'd like you to join us.